I'm getting ready to uh, do my very first test metalizing job using my new to me Teradyne 2000 metalizing gun right here from uh, Eutectic. This is not a new gun. This is one that was used that I purchased from someone, but it was a it was a full kit minus the uh, there's heat shields that actually clamp to this thing, and uh, they weren't in the kit when I bought it, which is common. People take them out and they forget about them and they get lost. But anyway, other than that, it was actually a complete kit. Bought this last year. I've had it put up, and I was kind of waiting for the right opportunity to get it mounted properly on my welding cart here. That's why I didn't pull out and use it because I wanted to get the flow meter mounted up here permanently to where it was in a good, easy to see uh, location and I didn't have to hook it up every time I want to use it there. All right, so I spent a little time yesterday evening getting uh, just a little bracket mounted and uh, welded on here. Just used some quarter by two flat bar, drilled the holes. I actually had to drill the holes in the flow meter here, just uh, aluminum blocks right there just enough so i could use a um, a number eight screw to hold it in there and then out i made this little block here as well made up this little finger screw just so that whenever you're done using the torch all right it just it's a good place to put it right there so you come over here and just uh, stick it in there like that and just lock it in it just keeps it from spinning is all it does and this was originally made you can see this uh, hook right here this is where the you know torch body would always sit uh, right in these two brackets right there so we're modifying it to use for my new metalizing system here so the flow meter you have to use this with the teradyne system this is the this is so that you can adjust a gun to your proper perimeters that you have to have the oxygen and fuel to get it optimized to run at the, the correct level so you have to set the regulators to the to the proper working pressure first and then once you light the gun off you use the uh, acetylene and the oxygen valves and you have to get your uh, flow set you know on the flow meter there and then once you do you're ready to go you've also got a t control here this this controls the amount of material that gets pulled through the gun you know the hopper the uh, the bottle which is this guy right here will be mounting right here okay so pretty excited about that this is the style gun that if you ever saw me do any of the metalizing at a uh, motion this is the same gun that we had down there uh, same exact style of gun and this is the, the modern version of the old one that you always saw me use which is the model one or the one a so we're going to be kind of retiring that one out keeping it hung on the wall and hopefully this is going to be a good gun right here but it is completely rebuildable and uh eutectic actually offered for me to uh, send this guy up there and they would have their tech team go through it and make sure it was in good shape but it's already got all new o-rings mounted in there whenever i bought it and i tested it out already it seems to work be working just fine so it's another reason why we're going to do a test weld today to see if it's uh it's going to be a just an easy smooth transaction from going to the one i was using before to mine that i have at my shop now all right these are the sample powders that you tech to give me and the kind of powders that you would normally use for a lot of job shop applications we're going to be using 21021 which is a, a really good powder for bearing and seal journals all right this is just a smaller container that we'll be using on the gun right here instead of the uh instead of this guy right here all right and then we have the 21031 which is a stainless alloy and you got a 21071 which is more of a bronze alloy right there okay and then this is the solution 103 which is the masking compound i always have a lot of people ask about that so if you need some masking that's what it is right there solution 103. all right so getting ready to pull this down here to the monarch and what i've got is just a sample piece in here that we're going to undercut this is an old hydraulic rod we've already got our masking brushed on there so we're just going to do a uh, build up right in this area right here which is actually two and a half inches and uh, see how see how the system works i've also got a new threading tool that uh, tongue alloy tetra mini cut i'm probably going to turn these threads down and uh, test out the new threading tool as well and see how that does okay
Looks like our coating did pretty good and our uh, our torch seems like our torch work as uh, as normal. So we're gonna go ahead and I got my fan over here on it now and we'll just go ahead and let it cool down to uh, just normal temp and then I'll come in here and turn it and see how the finish comes out. So I'm just trimming both of the ends before I go all the way across there. Try to relieve some of the uh, overlapping material off the ends like that right there. All right, and then we'll go ahead and go ahead and make us a pass across there and see how it looks. Looks like it's uh, it sprayed in there nice and even. We'll get a mic on there and see what I got to take to finish it down. going to be a final pass across there should bring it right down to uh, 2.500 0 looks like we've got a great transition there on that side of the undercut and uh, on the finish you want to drop it down to uh, five thousandths feed rate or less somewhere between three and five on your uh, on your feed rate and uh, try to remove Ten thousandths at minimum, if you can. There's our uh, finished journal right there. Just hit it lightly with some uh, 200 grit emery. There, D use a wire brush right here where the uh, masking is on thread area. Just use a wire brush while it's spinning, and brush the masking off that plus the uh, grit that's down in the thread, and then just hit it with some emery to polish it up. And man, that looks good for being our very first test weld. I'm real happy with the way the powder looks. It looks great. It, it gave it a good finish. I even got it right on size. We'll give it a little mic here. We were finishing it at two and a half and I am just dead there on i uh, I'm sorry, two and a quarter. Two and a quarter inches. I think I told you two and a half earlier, so I might have misspoken there, but so this is two and a quarter journal. So I'm happy with the way that looks right there. I think I, we got our gun dialed in just perfect right out of the box and uh, we're ready to go. All right, while we're playing with our uh, sample piece here, I'm going to turn these threads off. Just take it down to just like a next nominal size. And uh, we're going to try out our new uh, Tetra Mini Cut threading tool and see how it comes out. All right, we got our new Tungaloy Tetra Cut threading tool. We're gonna to use this and just make us a little practice thread cut with it just to test the tool out here. Cutting a 12 pitch, just like what was on there. I'm not even gonna measure the depth. We're just gonna give this a shot and see how it does.
looking to see what kind of chip it's putting off and what kind of finish we're going to have. Looking pretty good. Ah, uh, we need a center in the end of it. <laughs> a little bit too much stick out, not enough rigidity there. put a center in there and run our live center so to get rid of that chatter all right we got our got our live center in there make another pass see if we can clean that up there doing pretty good well so far no complaints from the tool I think it's gonna do a good job let me take this out of here I think the um, you know as far as this type of tool goes what we'll have to uh, consider and look out for is the uh, the seat there where it actually holds into the uh, insert to keep it from rotating uh, possibly wearing over time and see how that works out because that's the first time I've used it but anyway this is going to be a nice insert I think to have you know four good cutting edges and of course the, um, the coating that's on it is supposed to be a good all around coating for all different materials so we'll continue to put this one to work whenever we have any threading jobs to do well I think we had a uh a very successful first weld with our new Eutectic uh, Terry Dine equipment right here. And I love my setup right here. I love the way this is gonna be ready to go anytime I want. And if I don't need to use this and I wanna use my regular torch, all I gotta do is just unscrew the hoses from the uh, torch body right here. And I can still lay my you know, conventional uh, welding and cutting torch in here if I want. But anyway, this is working out pretty good. Uh, you know, I've got a lot of time using this system right here. I started using this gun back in 2009 whenever I was at my previous job there and just used it all the time, you know. So um, th th there wasn't really a learning curve here. It was a matter of just getting this set up and making sure that this gun was going to work properly because I bought it used. And thankfully, it's a, it's a good unit. And I was told that it was a good working unit whenever I bought it. So I trusted the source that I got it from. And I'm real happy to have it here. It's a more efficient unit than the Rototech gun that you normally would see me use, you know, the one that we're kind of retiring and gonna hang on the wall now. Uh, this is, is a more efficient gun and it has better capabilities than the old uh, Rototech. So that's another reason why I wanted to upgrade to this right here. Just does a really good job. Our, uh, our flow meter is gonna work out perfect right there where it's at. So as you saw in the video, you know, once we light off the torch right here, all I got to do is just stand right here and adjust the valves to get the, uh, the proper flow in there that we need before we start doing our welding. So this is working out really good. And then I'm going to show you our, our test piece. This is our, our sample that we did right there. And this is what it normally looks like whenever you would uh, finish out a job there polished out good too finished right on size and of course our uh, threading worked pretty good there too our new tungaloy threading tool there that's going to be a nice addition to the shop so this is the uh I, again i used the 21021 powder this is probably the most uh general use powder that you would uh use for you know just basic repairs any kind of shaft repair uh for a bearing journal or a seal journal that powder right there works pretty good all right and of course I've got the uh, stainless version right there and the bronze version the bronze version I haven't used much of but it has a lot more buildup capabilities than the other two this one you're limited on how much buildup you can actually do on a on a shaft 
But uh, Eutectic offers lots of product, and they've got a. This is what the series I'm using right here, the two, the 21 series. So they have a few other ones to pick from, and then they have a powder for pretty much any kind of application you can imagine, and they have application you know technicians there you can speak with also that they can direct you into what kind of material that you should use for whatever you're repairing but they have a 2300 series right here that goes into other types that you know it's got carbide in there uh, a lot of these you have to grind them you can't turn them with carbide you actually have to grind them but they have something for everybody there's a there's the high velocity system right there that would be a nice one to try so they got they got a little bit for any kind of application you can imagine you tech it and they have really good welding products too welding rods brazing rods filler materials good high quality stuff well that's the end of our uh our test our sample weld i wanted to just try to you know make sure this thing was going to work out of the box and uh we know that it is so i actually have a couple of jobs lined up now that we're going to be able to use the uh the pterodyne on and get done so those should be coming up pretty soon and uh it'll be in the ready anytime something else comes through the door it needs to be metalized hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you on the next job